Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, jumping back into Animal Crossing City Folk here on the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Like I'm doing with all of my uh, Animal Crossing Let's Plays this week, I'm recording after 4 p.m. Uh, it's about 5, going on 5.30 right now. Because I know there are a lot of bugs and fish <clears throat> uh, that only show up after 4 p.m. Um, kind of across all of the different games. So, for example, the catfish in this game is one that I need to catch still. As part of my Critterpedia. Uh, this game, there are, there are a lot less fish that I have to catch. Um, catfish is one. Salmon. The uh, angelfish is one that I can catch today. The arowana is another one, I believe, right? An arowana and a dorado. Both are out today, and I know uh, my Discord, there were people in my Discord uh, trolling me about all the rare fish they were catching uh, in City Folk, so, and also telling me um, kind of what I already knew, that the moray eel is in no way rare, and for some reason only I am having a problem catching it, uh, so that was that was interesting to hear as well. Uh, the Hammerhead Shark is also one. <clears throat> and then as far as bugs go... Uh, Emperor Butterfly, 7pm. That's not out yet. Same thing with the Oak Silk Moth. Uh, the Lanternfly, 4pm to 8am. Okay, the Lanternfly is one that I can catch, though, today. Maybe. Uh, those Dragonflies are later... The Violin Beetle on Tree Stumps. Uh, they are available apparently today. From 4 a.m. Or this month, I should say. From 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'll have to check those tree stumps back there. Uh, Longhorn Beetles. 11 p.m. to 7 p.m. So just 8, 9, and 10. They're not available, but... Okay, Longhorn Beetle. Scarab Beetle, July. The rest of them, I think. Oh, no, a Giant Stag. 11 p.m. to 8 a.m., so that's a night adventure bug. 5 p.m. to 8 a.m., the Rainbow Stag. And the Golden Stag, 5 p.m., but that one's July. Okay, so we have uh, we have our work cut out for us here, too. Oh, no, I have another page, actually. Um, The Atlas Beetle, 5 p.m. to 8 a.m., so that one's out now. The Goliath Beetle are on palm trees, apparently, right now. And then the Tarantula, I don't think any of those. Uh, you know what? The Tarantula is supposed to be out 7 p.m. tonight. Ah, well. So I don't even know where to start, quite frankly. Maybe I go for the Hammerhead Shark? The hammerhead shark, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna aim for that. Yeah. Because it's... It's like an obvious one when you see it. You know what I mean? It's the only fish you're gonna see... With a fin. And then while I'm at it, I might... You know... You know what? And I'm, I'm gonna try to catch a moray eel too while I'm down here. Moray eel? Please? Nope, sea bass. Yeah, there's there's no logical reason as to oops, uh, as to why I haven't caught a moray eel yet. That was kind of the discussion that I was I was having with people. Um It makes no real logical sense because they're not rare fish. And knowing that they're not rare fish is just, it makes it all that much more frustrating that I can't seem to catch one. All right. 
off to a really good start here. I'm trying to be, like, very cautious around the palm trees as well. Knowing that, you know, there are beetles that can spawn on there that I do, in fact, need. Crap, I didn't mean to pick that up. Drop it! There's a little fish I was trying to scare away and I accidentally picked up the stupid thing. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm, I gotta keep an eye out, uh, at these tree stumps as well for violin beetles that also may or may not exist. I don't know. <laughs> What's in my pocket right now? Kind of a bunch of crap that I wanna... I'm gonna put them into storage real quick. And then I'll come back out and hopefully it'll refresh the uh, the coastline here. So there's a lot that I have to catch in this game. Uh, but... I don't know. Like, there's a lot, but there's not a lot at the same time, if that makes sense. The Wistful Painting is... I need to sell that. Take that in there. Actually, you know what? Keep that out. Put that in there. Uh, put the bunny balloon away. Put the flower away. I guess I could put that away. I just want to keep the, uh, the slingshot out. Because for some reason I don't have a golden slingshot. I I know for a fact I've had them in the past, though. But for some reason, uh, I don't have it now. So I'm gonna have to, like, shoot down a new one, I guess, at some point. I don't think you can buy golden tools, right? Like, even after you've, like, cataloged them or whatever, I don't think you can just buy them. <laughs> Alright. If I can catch a, catch a moray eel today, I'd be perfectly content. Oh my god. Sea bass. Yep. <clears throat> uh, I was also criticized. Not criticized, but... Uh, people commented on, like, how I reel in fish in this game. Because uh, I'm a spaz. And, like, most people press A once. Uh, or they, you know, flick their wrist once. Because that's all it takes to reel it in. Uh, I hold the A button as I, to reel it in, and I've repeated, I just frantically uh, shake the Wiimote. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. I just do it. Uh, just I, I just want the extra the extra the extra assurance that it's it's definitely gonna be reeled in. I don't know. It's stupid. It's just I, I, it's something that I started doing a while back and I just never stopped doing it. Even though I do know better. Like, it doesn't do anything for me. I recognize that, but... I don't know. Old habits die hard. I've been doing that since I started playing, and... You know, back when I was... I don't know how old. This game came out in, what, 2008, I think? So, I would have been about... 12, maybe? 11 or 12 years old at that point. So, yeah. Old habits die hard when you've been playing <clears throat> for 14 years. I've been playing this game longer or for, for more than half my life. Isn't that insanity? I've spent more than half my life playing this game. I mean, that's a weird way to put it, I guess. This game has been in my life for more than half my, more than half of it, I should say. <laughs> I can't say I've been playing it for more than half my life. That would imply I literally never put it down, I think, but.
There's a stupid fish. Bet it's not a moray eel. Bet it's gonna waste my time still, though, as if it were one. It's a dab, or an olive flounder. They're the same thing, essentially, in this game. Flatty batty. Flatty bow batty. <laughs> Why are all fish just taking so long to be reeled in today. I was playing Animal Crossing on GameCube too, and it was the same deal. Like, fish are just stupidly, like, difficult today. Stupidly, ridiculously difficult. Yeah, nibble, and then I reel it in. Ha! Get out of here. Get out of here! I might straight up just give up soon. On this endeavor. Wait, more as far as more eels go though, are they all day fish? I forget. They might not be. But also they might be. Yeah, they're all day. There's no excuse for why I haven't caught one yet. Just Just unlucky, I guess, right? Just terribly, terribly unlucky. <laughs> Like hammerhead shark, okay. Tarantula, scorpion, okay. Arowana, okay. But moray eel? No, no excuse. Get out of here. I'm on the hunt for a moray eel. Or a hammerhead shark. Obviously. Or some kind of beetle. And by some kind of beetle, I mean any kind of beetle. Pretty sure that's not big enough. I think I need a size 5. For a moray eel. Right? Now I'm second guessing that as well. Yeah, it's a size 5, which is the same size as the sea bass, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I haven't been looking for it wrong, to clarify. <laughs> I've been looking for it correctly. It just hasn't existed correctly. <laughs> Maybe I modded my game into a different hemisphere. I don't think that's possible. But stupider things have happened, I guess. a mosquito in the distance. <clears throat> How much pocket space do I have left? Like three spots. Okay, so what I'm going to do is after I make this last little trip down the river, I'm going to start making, or down the ocean, the coastline here. Uh, I think I'm gonna start making my way up, like, the river a little bit. And see if maybe there's something to catch on the river. Can I help you? Lily, hey there, it's good to see you, darling. I had a, qu a question to ask you. You know how I just said hey there a second ago? Quack, pfft. Wait, 
Why is your catchphrase quack pfft? You're a frog. Well, I think it's time we came up with a greeting that's a little more personal, don't you? Definitely. Not really, but... I like Lily, so I'm not gonna be a jerk. <laughs> but I'm also not gonna... I'm also not gonna put any thought into it. Uh... I'm not trying to get, like, bit by a mosquito. <laughs> but I am hearing them everywhere. So it doesn't sound promising. So are there just no fish out at all today? <laughs> Is that what I should assume here? Because I have not seen a single river fish. Not a one. <laughs> oh, now there are two. And they're right on top of each other. So instead of giving me two fish, they're giving me the option of one. And I... Unless I can somehow... Manage this. Okay, they're splitting up a little bit. No, they're not. Crap, I blew it. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the other one then. Or try to. Shouldn't get too confident, so I just blew that one. What is it? What is it? Something good? Probably not. What is that? A rainbow trout? I'm pretty sure I already caught that. Uh. Yeah, I already caught that. Lame. Lame. Give me something good. Give me something I don't already have. I bet this is another rainbow trout. Oh no, it's even better. It's an old tire. Whose car is this from? You know who is it's from. It's from Gracie Grace. skater good thing we found one in this game couldn't find one for the life of me uh, on GameCube all right so I'm gonna run and I'm going to uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I'm gonna sell all these fish in my pocket then I'm gonna run to the city maybe and, uh, and check if, if Red has some artwork for me. <laughs> Boom. So I'm gonna go check with, uh, with Red to see if he has any artwork for me, and then I'll just return. I've got, like, ten minutes left in this week's episode, so I'm gonna, I'll return then. And, uh, and see if we can catch anything, uh, worthwhile. I'm kind of frustrated because, like, there are definitely, there are definitely fish now that they're, you know, to be caught. Uh, and I still can't catch any. A lot of them are just not around, which is conflicting to me. The catfish is in a lake. Do we know what a lake is? Is a lake where, like, the, the big body of water that the water, like, the river, on, as part of the river? I assume. <laughs> Alrighty. So you were fancy pants, blah, 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 blah. Sure, Cap'n, sure. 
Alrighty. So we're here in the city now. Alrighty, so we're gonna check in with Crazy Red, see if he's got any new artwork for me. And he's got something. I don't know if it's new. What is this? What is this crap? A solemn painting. I'm pretty confident that this is... I'm gonna buy it, but I'm gonna be angry about it, because I'm pretty confident that a solemn painting is one that I do already have in my museum. Uh, but we'll find out, I guess. There's only one way to find out, right? It's not like I don't have infinite money in this game, so... <laughs> Just out of curiosity, is this open? Nope. Not today. It's too early, I think, still. Uh, I'll have to do, like, night adventure episodes at some point. Because there are a lot- there are- I think the next couple of weeks I'm gonna be doing, uh, after 4 p.m. episodes, because, uh, there- that's where I think most of the bugs and fish that I haven't caught yet are in- across all of the Animal Crossing games. Um, and then, at some point, I'll do some- uh, like, at least- a night adventure episode for each game, uh, because there are a couple fi are a couple bugs, a couple fish that are only available at night, like explicitly at night, like after 7 p.m. Um, in this game, I still have not caught the uh, tarantula or the scorpion. I remember last summer, I believe, I did a uh, a hunt and I saw both of them. And I got murdered by... It was, like, all within, like, 45 minutes, I think. Or an hour. Uh, I got murdered by... I think it was two uh, tarantulas and one scorpion. So I saw all of them. One of the... Or I saw both of them. One of them I saw twice. But they all murdered me in cold blood. I didn't catch a single one. So that was pretty embarrassing, but... I'm gonna make my way down... Following the river, I suppose... <laughs> Just as a kind of, uh, a last-stitch effort to try to catch something cool out of the river. Crap. Come on, baby. There we go. I think. Let's say, okay, come on now. What is that thing? Rainbow Trout. That's the same thing as I just caught, right? So. Don't need that. <laughs> I think I'm looking for some- for bigger fish in the river. Uh, no, that's not true. There are- there's also the angel fish that I think. I still need to c catch in the river, and those things are tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I think my big problem here is that I'm trying to focus on too many potential uh, catches. Generally speaking, that's how I fail the most. Is when I try to, you know, when I put too much on my plate, like too many different options, I end up catching nothing. As opposed to specializing in like selecting one thing that I want to catch that episode. This thing just needs to go, dude. That thing just needs to go. Okay. So I guess we're kind of back on the hunt, more or less, for, uh... Oops. Back on the hunt, more or less, for the, uh, hammerhead shark and more eel. Okay, this is just pissing me off now, dude. Yeah, look at it, and then get out of here. There you go. There you go, little fishy. Get lost. 
There was something big looking. Nope. Sorry. Occupado. I lied. That wasn't that impressive. You want anything still? No? Not anymore? Okay, that's fine. I didn't really want to talk to you. I was just going to be polite. That's for sure like a horse mackerel or something. <clears throat> something unsavory, I would imagine. Alright, so there's a river fish. <laughs> it's a carp. I caught a carp. Pretty sharp. Oh, crap. I didn't want to catch this. It's a squid. I really didn't want to catch that. I wasn't trying. I literally reeled it in as soon as it. I saw it jut towards my, uh, my line. Unfortunately for me, the second it jutted towards my line was the second it also bit. And now I'm stuck with a squid. So what are the odds? What are the odds that the solemn painting is not already part of my museum? And then follow up, if for some miracle it's not already part of my museum, what are the odds what are the odds then uh, that this is legit? It's like a tire or something. It's a black bass, which is probably worse than a tire. I think a tire is literally worthless, so... To be worth less than worthless is, uh... Saying something. Stupid little fish. Stupid little fish! How many spaces do I have left? Oh, I got plenty of space. All right, well, let me go check the art exhibit really quickly. <laughs> I made so much progress in uh, Animal Crossing Wild World last week, uh, Animal Crossing on GameCube this week, and yet here we are in City Folk making no progress. <laughs> All right, so, so far so good. No solemn painting. What is this? Common. What is, that's not, yeah, a worthy painting. What is that? A warm painting? <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? <laughs> okay, so, so far, no solemn painting. <laughs> but there's still a whole nother room that it very easily could be in. <laughs> this is it, isn't it? Ah, oh, God, I hate my life, dude. I knew it. It was the last one in the far corner. So another dud. Another dud that I'm going to waste my time checking. So infuriating. Art, art collecting in Animal Crossing City Folk is perhaps the most infuriating thing uh, ever. It's just so annoying. So annoying. Glitchy, glitchy screen. Okay. So we're back to the hunt. There was definitely a shadow out here, I think, right? But it was trash. It was some dumb bug that, I, or dumb fish that I don't care about. Same thing with this thing. Good. Scare both of them away, easily. Any river monsters that I'm looking for?
that was a show, for anybody who's not familiar, I don't think it's still a show, but it used to be a show on Animal Planet called River Monsters. And I know it either just came on the air or it just was on the air uh, during the uh, initial era of Animal Crossing City Folk. What is that? A char. A char? Do I need a char? Is this the one game that I don't need a char in? It is. It is the one game in all of the Animal Crossing games that I don't need a char in. And it's the one game that I can catch a char in. Uh, but anyway, there was, yeah, there was a show called River Monsters on Animal Planet back in the day. And I was, like, fascinated by it. Uh, mostly because I loved Animal Crossing City Folk so much. And, uh, it was, like, they showed these massive, like, fish. Like, these, half of them were, like, man-eaters, right? And, uh, I remember, first of all, I thought they were cool. Uh, but also, I was always, like, on the lookout. Like, oh, what is that? What is that? And it's, like, today's episode, we're hunting the Arapaima. And I was like, ooh, I know that one because of Animal Crossing. And I was, I don't know. I just got super stoked about uh, that show when they had Animal Crossing fish on it. Like the big rare fish from Animal Crossing. The same thing with like, I loved learning about uh, like the coelacanth. Because like, it's just, it's such a weird fish that they put in the game for some reason. I don't know why they put it in the game, but I'm so happy that they did. Uh, and then since this game, since I started playing, uh, they did actually discover, like, a living coelacanth. Like, I think when this game released, uh, they had found some bodies, like some dead coelacanth, because by the time they reach a certain depth that is, you know, observable by humanity, uh, they're already dead because they're, like, super, super deep sea. So there was no, uh, there was no confirmation. Sorry, my, my face is itchy. Uh, but there was, I think, I think at that, at that point, there was no confirmation whether or not there were actually any living ones still. Uh, every so often a dead one would just kind of float up to the, the ocean surface and scientists would, or bio, marine biologists would find it. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think there have been living coelacanths that have been documented now though. Like, they are still around. Despite them being, like, li literally, like, living fossils, essentially. <laughs> Come on, stupid fishy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, turn around and get the get caught. Turn around and get caught. Come on now. You're pissing me off, fish. Especially since you're probably a fish that I don't even need anyway. Oh my god, dude. It's gonna be like a tire. <laughs> Oh my god. See it. There you go. What are you? It's a black bass. The worst of all the fish. Just kidding. It could be worse, but barely. Okay, so what are we at? We have two more slots. Oh my god, dude. And there's a st stupid tiny fish. Stupid tiny fish. Just a bunch of duds. Well, I guess I'll just make my way back to my house. Check on my, uh... Check to see if there are any violin beetles. Um... Chilling on any of the, uh... The chopped down trees. Wait, isn't there another chopped down tree up here somewhere? Yeah, right here. And there's another one like right over here, I think. Yeah. But 
alas, there are no... No violin beetles on any of them. So we got a whole lot of nothing today. We made a whole lot of no progress. Which is pretty frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, okay. And no violin beetles, obviously, either. So I'll just make my way up the river, I guess, over here. on my way back to Nooks to sell all this crap, including these two pieces of artwork now that are worthless. <laughs> Guess I'll shoot down this. <laughs> I don't really want it right now, but I'll shoot it down nonetheless. Just so it, the game acknowledges that I <laughs> shot it down. Are you kidding me, dude? You're really just going to have this stupid fish swim right through my bobber? Oh my god. So say, today, fishy. It's an arowana. Oh, baby. We aren't. It's golden and gorgeous, I'll say. Okay, so today was not a total bust, guys. It was not a total bust. The clock strikes 6 p.m. And all is not lost. So let me go sell all this crap and make it a point. To nope, sorry. Still don't, still don't have time for you. <laughs> Make it an explicit point to not sell this arowana. That's the important thing. That's the one I needed, right? Yeah, baby. So I can catch a rare arowana, but I can't catch a freaking moray eel in a full 30, 40 minute episode. Jeez, dude. Squid. I also feel like. Uh, this might be a fish that my sister already donated to the museum, but that's okay because it's one that I didn't uh, have registered in my Critterpedia yet, and that's all that matters to me. I mean, I, I want to complete the museum, obviously, but <laughs> if it's a fish that's already in the museum, it's no, no harm, no foul. Boom, boom. quick just I, real quick I'm gonna run down here and just see see if there's a big fish or a finned fish I think there's a big fish over here I saw something that looked pretty big yeah that could be a moray eel right make my dreams come true Animal Crossing come on please moray eel sea bass dude every time it comes out to it it looks slightly brown because of the, the way the Sun is setting and I'm like oh could it be? No, it's not. Could it be blistering disappointment? Always. It can always be blistering disappointment. Alright. Well, Blathers, I don't know if this... This might be a waste of time, but uh, I have a donation for you. It's an arowana, and you can have the sea bass if you want it to, but... Haha, -ha, so the arowana is new for my museum as well. <laughs> Alright, that is everything. Let me go check out my, uh... Let me go check out my arowana, now part of my museum. After all these years. 
Oh, it's Riverfish. I don't know why I just ran right past him. There it is. There's the Arowana, along with the Arapaima back there, and all the good fishies. All them good river fishies. Alright, so that's where we'll leave it today. We did make a little bit of progress, at least, so that's good. Let me, let me pose with my Arapaima. Anyway. So with that said, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube uh, and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel on the first Friday night of every single month, uh, as well as when I upload new video content such as this. I upload new videos to the channel every single weekday, uh, Monday through Friday of every single week. Uh, make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.